Hey guys, it's Cam here, and recently I took on the challenge of jumping rope every day for 30 days. And not gonna lie, I got pretty decent at it. One of my favorite parts of this challenge was learning different steps and tricks, so I figured I'd share some of them with you guys. So without further ado, here are 15 of my favorite jump rope tricks. Starting with number one, the ollie shuffle. This was one of the first steps I learned, and it's something that's pretty easy. As you can see, it's just one foot alternating in front of the other in a shuffle motion. Pretty simple, but feels really cool when you're first starting out. Then number two, we've got single leg jumps. With this one, you wanna make sure you're keeping your knees bent and landing on the balls of your feet. This is another one that I learned early on and is really helpful in getting comfortable going back and forth between each foot. Then we've got single leg swings. I like to think of this as like the jazz hand version of the last one. It's the same step, just adding in leg swings as you get more comfortable. Left, left, right, right, swing in that leg. Number four, we've got high knees. This one, folks, let me tell you, if you want to have a Rocky Balboa main character moment while skipping, go really fast with high knees. It's crazy cardio, and I swear for some reason this step just feels epic. Then we have butt kicks at number five. On the contrary, these are not epic at all. Nothing special, just, uh, yeah, kicking your own butt. A great step, however, if you've recently had a leg day and you need to stretch those quad muscles out. Then onto jumping jacks. I struggled with these at first because I'd always jump too wide and get my rope caught on my feet, but this is a foundation for our next step, which is cross leg jumps. A similar motion, you're jumping into a wide stance again, but when you jump back, instead of landing feet parallel, you're crossing one leg in front of the other in an alternating pattern. Then onto the boxer step, with this one you're alternating your body weight from one leg to the other while lightly tapping the other foot. So if you listen, you should get this very satisfying triplet sound, like a majestic horse trotting or something. <laughs> It's a great one for developing speed and coordination. At number nine, we've got side swings. Here you're taking the rope handle and crossing it over your body so the rope swings on one side, then doing it for the other side, and then bringing it back in through so you're back to your regular skipping. Then once you're comfortable with that move, you can move on to number 10, which is just double side swings. Same things, just doing two swings on either side before you hop back through. This is a great one if you mess up and you just want to get back into the rhythm of skipping. I'll often go to this just to get back into it when I mess up. Number 11, we have crisscross. Here I'm crossing both handles across my body in rhythm with the circular motion of the rope. It takes a bit of figuring out the coordination of this one so that you're able to keep the rope skipping while you're crossing. But once you're comfortable with that coordination, you can start doing double crisscrosses so that you're getting two skips over the rope with your hands crossed. Then we have double unders. This is where your rope is going under you twice per single jump. So what I've found is that I have to jump a bit higher, but also think about spinning the rope once really fast and letting it come around twice. Once you're comfortable with double unders, you can start finding the rhythm to do repeat double unders. And gonna be honest, this was painful to practice. Got hit lots of times with a fast moving rope. So uh, yeah, brace for impact, but <laughs> Then finally at number 16, we have the 360. This one seems more complicated than it actually is, but it's just a few tricks pieced together. Think of this one in three parts, starting with the side left swing with you turning so that you're facing backwards. Then you have a backwards jump, which I do rotating 90 degrees towards my end point. Then you're just riding the momentum of the rope and rotating back to your starting point. Practice this one really slow and slowly speed it up and I think you'll get it pretty quick. Once you've got some of these down, you can start mixing and matching different steps into your rope sessions and really start to have some fun with it. So yeah, I hope you guys can have as much fun as I've had with it and hopefully this video is beneficial. Before I go, I do wanna talk a bit about one of my favorite apps, which just so happens to be the sponsor of this video and that's Endel. Endel is a neuroscience patented technology app that provides custom soundscapes that help you focus, relax, and improve your sleep. What's cool about Endel is that it actually responds to your environment. So it uses your location, the weather, and your heart rate to create custom soundscapes to cater to you. 
For me, I use Endel when I'm sitting down to lock in on some work. Typically in the past, I have used music as a way to try and focus, but lyrics can be distracting amongst other things. And now with Endel, I'm able to just sit down, set a timer for however long I wanna work, and I'm off to the races. What's also cool is that it comes on my watch as well, so if I wanna just keep my phone out of the room and really focus in, that's an option as well. So if you're interested in Endel and you wanna give it a try for yourself, the first 100 people that click the link down in the description are gonna get a week of free audio environments that they can try out. So if you wanna boost your productivity, you wanna relax or sleep better, all good things, definitely give Endel a try and I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.